All right, welcome to Money Never Sleeps. This is a show where we talk about anything and everything that impacts the flow of money from around the corner to around the world. When I'm on here, you can hear me speaking about crypto to certain things with stocks and companies and the markets and so on and so forth. You know, small business, big business, doesn't much matter because everything is important. And I try to, you know, touch on things here. Uh, one, the topic I want to deal with today is is technology. Now, you hear a lot about companies that are either public or they're going public or they're they're in that that in between phase and they're seeking out investment. All right, what winds up happening is that the smart money knows it takes time. Uh, for for these technology companies to realize their goals. It's not something that happens overnight. But if you're patient, if you're patient, it pays off. I think as, uh, you know, investors, sometimes they'll go and they'll invest in a technology company and they get impatient. They don't look at the horizon. They just look at the short term. Now, if you're looking to invest in a company, and you're looking for to, to hold it for a couple of weeks or a few months, you know, you're not a long-term player. You're looking for a trade. You're not looking for the growth of the company, you know, and, and I'll throw a couple of examples out there. You know, you had companies that were in the single digits at one point in time that when the single digits went up, came back down and maybe went into the low double digits, the teens, okay? And and things of that nature. And these companies, the ones that stood with them are the ones that benefited the most. The ones that traded out, that got bored, that their money was sitting there, they're like, oh, I don't wanna lose everything, and so on and so forth. Those are the ones that lost the most. You have to be long-term players in the game. You can't be, this is not, this is not like Vegas. You're not hitting the slots and you're looking for a big payoff that moment. It takes time. And again, whether it's a private company or a public company, when you're investing in technology, you need to look at what is the technology? Is this, is this disruptive? Is, if it is, and the people are, are good at what they do, then you got to win. You just got to be patient. Got to be patient. Think about the, the people that went, the investors that went in and they bought Amazon, you know, in, 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 in the mid single digits, five, six bucks, seven bucks. And the stock, the stock didn't move or the stock went up and it came down. You know, at one point in time that happened, the stock went up, I think close to a hundred bucks came back down. And the bottom line is people were jumping out. They were bailing. They were bailing because, you know, the stock was was not doing what what they thought it was going to do. Look at Amazon today. Look at Amazon today. Same thing happened with Facebook. Facebook, when they first came public, the, the, the stock got kiboshed. Why? Because people were getting out. You know, the, the, the short-term players were getting out. The long-term players were just sitting there and, and accumulating. They were waiting. Look at the company now. Look at the company now. And look, and I even mention it, and trust me, it hurts me to mention it, but snap, I never liked the company. You know, but I have to respect what they've done. And that's the thing. You know, when the company was going public, when all this stuff was happening, you know, a lot of hype, a lot of things were, a lot of rumors were, were, were coming around. And you had a lot of little hype machine. They built something. It was built for one reason. It evolved. And I have to give kudos to, to the, the powers that be in the company because they did not disappoint they're continually evolving evolving and you have other bigger platforms that are stealing their ideas and they they continue to evolve and they they the values there that company is going to continue to grow cuz they're 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 looking at the future they're not looking at what's going to happen in 6 months they're look, they're looking at where they're going to be in the next 3 to 5 years so if you're looking at an outlook for 3 to 5 years for a company where is it going to be if you're looking at an outlook outlook of where the company is going to be in 6 months you're going to be sadly disappointed because you don't know and it happens all the time i speak to people they invest in a company whether it be a private company or public company and they're looking for immediate results they want to know okay you know what's happening right now What's happening right now? Where's it going to be in two weeks? 
Who knows? Who knows where it's going to be in two weeks? Bottom line is if you believe in the company, you stick with it and you work with it. And you, you, if you're an investor, be an investor. Be a real investor. You stick with the company. If you want to be a trader, buy options. Do that. There's a big market for that. You can make a lot of money doing that. But if you believe in a company and you're invested, especially if it's a private company, stick with it. You go, you go make things happen. If it's a public company, if you believe in the company, you stick with it. Look at Tesla. Tesla as well what was down in nowhere's land. And look at it now. These are innovative, disruptive companies in the technology realm. And if you believe in what they're doing, you believe in where they're going to go. If you believe in the value, then the bottom line is, you know, you stick with them. You don't, you're not a, you can't be a fair weather investor that you're only happy when it goes up. And, and then you're, you're, you're angry when it goes down. Nothing goes up in a straight line, my friends. You got peaks and valleys. But if you stick with it, ultimately you reach the goal. If the company's doing the right thing, you know, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Snap, you know, these companies do the right thing and they're growing. You have other tech companies that are doing the right thing. You know, like Palantir, people don't realize what the company does. Learn what the company does and then you'll get a better feel for where the future is. Because if you're looking at short term, that they didn't meet their numbers and so on and so forth. You have to look at the long-term deal because as we evolve and 5G comes into play, trust me, security is going to be key. Security is going to be key protecting people's, you know, devices. They're, you know, everything. They're everything. Okay, governments, you know, uh, the military, so on and so forth. This is what these guys do. So don't write them off, in my opinion. Don't write them off. But again, if you're investing, if you are... Uh, an investor in a private tech company and you believe in them and trust me, I deal with this stuff. You believe in the company and what it's doing. Stay with them. You know, if you feel, you know, you like what they do, support them. Use their products for Christ's sakes. Do something. Don't sit there and hold you and be and just sit there and say, okay, I'm going to wait until they deliver to me because doing that, you know, I mean, especially if, if they have products that you can utilize, get involved, you know, if you can. OK, other than that, you know, stay steady with your investment on a, pu a public company. And, you know, granted, you know, you, you if you are an investor, a long term investor, stick with it, stick with it. The, the benefits are there if the company's doing the right thing and you can you can you can ride the wave. You know, don't look at the ups and downs, the daily or the weekly. You're going to drive yourself nuts. You know, look at the value in the company, look at the people, and see where where the company is going to be disruptive, where that growth can be. And if you have that together, you know what? You can have a nice win. And, and again, I'm talking about this today on Money Never Sleeps because it's important because I hear it. I see it a lot. I hear it a lot. People that win and they, they invested in a company and they want results today. They want results today. I guess this is the world we live in. People are, want immediate satisfaction. Like they eat a bar of chocolate. They want immediate satisfaction. They go do something else. They want immediate satisfaction. They have a drink. They want immediate satisfaction. You know, they go on a date. They want immediate satisfaction. The bottom line is there's nothing that's going to happen that's going to be so immediate that's going to rock your world in a night when it comes to technology. You know, look for the companies that are disruptive. Look at it for the companies that are disruptive. They're disruptive in, in certain areas, then you have value. If they're, if they're willing to go and expand and, and have different, different verticals that they're involved with, it's a win. It's a win. It's a win. Having different revenue streams is a win. So look for these companies. They're out there. You know, we have these companies. Look for these companies. When we, when we are involved in a company, we go all in because we believe in it. We go all in, all in that is scary all in. But the bottom line is, you know, we know at the end of the road that the benefits are going to outweigh the risk factor that's involved. OK, and anything, you know, you have this is you have a level of risk. If you think that you're going to go and be involved in a situation, you're not going to have some level of risk there. Then, you know, what? Well, go buy a bond. Go keep your money in a savings account. Stay there. Because you're going to drive people crazy. You're going to drive your broker you're crazy. You're going to drive whoever got you involved in a deal crazy. You're going to drive people crazy. You're going to drive yourself crazy. You're going to drive your wife, your husband crazy. You know, if you believe in something, stick with it. It'll benefit. 
Uh, it'll benefit you longer term if you believe in the company and what they're doing. All right. Now, that's it for this uh, segment of Money Never Sleeps. I want to wish you guys a fantastic weekend. Go make it worth it. Make, you know, go enjoy it. Take a break. Put your pencils down. Put your papers away. Do all that stuff. Go spend some time with your family. Pet your dog. Hang out with your cat. Get out the house. Whatever you need to do. Just make it, make it worth, uh, make it worth your while and enjoy. All right, you guys, enjoy your weekend. I'll be back with you next week. God bless.